thank you for clicking on this interview. And if you get a chance, I'd love it if you would subscribe. I think I stuck a button somewhere uh, down here. I was really excited to talk to a Michael Richardson, or I think it's supposed to be pronounced a Michal. I've even heard him pronounce it Michael. Probably should have double checked that just to be sure. He has a starring role in a new film with his father, Liam Neeson. It's called Made in Italy, where he heads to Tuscany to sell a house that they inherited from his mother after she died tragically. They're forced to confront their grief each other and obviously the subject hits close to home of course his own mother i'll never forget hearing that the great actress natasha richardson died after a ski accident i give him a lot of credit here he is doing these interviews about a film that he's excited about you know people are going to bring up how it relates to his own life. You know people are going to ask him about working with his father, which I did, but I really enjoyed getting to know him a little bit better, and I think he enjoyed it as well. I hope you enjoy it. So here's my interview with uh, Michal Richardson. Michal, good morning. Sarah. I, I'm in my husband's basement, basically. I just interviewed Bear Grylls, so I had to try to impress him. That's why I've got bikes and what? stuff behind me. I know. Interview, interview Bear? I love Bear. And I do too. This is a very cool backdrop. It's kind of badass, not gonna lie. Well, to be honest, my husband's kind of bare grills. He he does a lot of that same stuff. How are you doing? I'm 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 doing fine. I'm doing fine. How about yourself? I'm doing great. This movie, first of all, made me want to travel again. I would imagine uh, anyone who sees this this film just wants to go somewhere beautiful. Where's the first place you might go when we're allowed to all travel the world again? You know, I was thinking about doing a, a road trip across America. When the states open back up, when everything is safe and sound, I wanna, I wanna travel around and discover this beautiful country we live in. Like there's so much I haven't seen. I've grown up in New York my whole life. I've seen, spent time in different states, but I wanna do like a real long road trip if, yeah. if I can. Well, you'll definitely be coming through Arizona on that trip, I'm sure, for the Grand Canyon. So I'll give you some pointers another time. And how hot is it there at the moment as we speak? It's about 115 degrees, but I'm actually in Oregon. So I'm oh, near Mount Hood, where it's okay. uh, about 94 degrees. <laughs> oh, I know. Wow. One of the first parts of this film, you get in a car with your dad, and you're on basically a road trip to get to this place. And it got me thinking, what is a road trip like between you and your dad, Liam Neeson? Who's driving, and what are you listening to? Well, I like to drive. Dad listens to BBC World Radio, <laughs> right. which is nice to fall asleep to. <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm driving, I don't like listening to BBC Radio because I like staying awake. They're, they're beautiful. They're nice sort of British soft voices lull you to sleep. So I normally <laughs> will throw on some, I don't know, some like old school rap or mm -hmm. some rock, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I need to be awake when I'm behind the wheel. I don't want to fall asleep to, to, to BBC. You know, you get to this beautiful Tuscan villa and you go up to what used to be your bedroom when you were a child. And the first thing I noticed was the Harry Potter poster. And there are some posters of some soccer teams or football teams. Um, yeah. you know, in Europe. What was on your wall as a kid? What did you have on your wall? That's a great question. You know, I was a huge Avril Lavigne fan. I was no. a diehard Avril Lavigne fan. <laughs> she was my world. I think in second grade, I did... <laughs> oh, no. In second grade, I did a talent show, and me and another guy, not a girl, another guy, we both sang Skater Boy. <laughs> no that, way! That's how real it was. Um, so, and then, you know, back, I was like into My Chemical Romance, like, oh. I think 182. So you'd see a lot of that stuff up there. Um, yeah. And then, and then there actually was probably like a David Beckham poster, Lord of the Rings <laughs> posters, right. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It is hard not to watch this film, obviously, and think about your mom. And this movie is so much about, you know, what we remember about loved ones who have gone, how we honor them while yeah. we're still around. Can I ask, and I hope it's not too personal, can I ask what your best memory of your mom is? There, you know, there are a lot of, of little, little memories. Um, when, when we were much, much younger, we loved, um, she was, you know, she loved imagination and we would yeah. go out and, you know, play these different characters. Um, 
and we always played games like charades and she she would love like dancing in the rain all of this weird fun mom stuff and it was but mainly it's the cooking I'd say cooking is where I feel closest to her and her laugh was such an amazing amazing laugh that's the small things I remember I, I thought about you know there are scenes where the two of you are together having these intense moments and then some beautiful moments you and your dad and I thought god she would have loved this like, what would she have thought of this to see her oh. son? That Because I don't think you were into acting when you were 13. I don't even know if it had crossed your mind then. No, no, it, no, it really hadn't. And that's, yeah, one of the things I think about, what, what I would have asked her, um, what she would have thought and said. But I no, thank you very much. I do think she would be proud of me. Oh, I do too. And you included some good cooking scenes in the film. So maybe that was an homage to her. But I was yes. hungry after watching this. <laughs> good, good. Um, I know that you've talked before with Cold Pursuit. You said when you first acted with your dad, it felt a little cold. It's become obviously more natural and that he doesn't necessarily teach you. He might give you a tip and you pick things up just by watching him. What did you pick up from him on this film? Was there anything new that you picked up from him as you went along and made this one? Um, you know, talking more like stillness, stillness in front of the camera. Um, I'm, I'm kind of fidgety at times. That's from like an acting technical standpoint. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, being courteous, helping out on, on um, set with the crew, um, you know, making sure you clean up your station, of, like makeup station or, or <laughs> fold, fold your clothes. That's the important one. Fold your clothes for the costume department <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of, you know, taught me my, Give me a good lesson in manners and um, how to your you know how to treat others on set, which came naturally. Of course, you want your team, you want to you know want to be polite and treat your team with care. You're all part of the same sort of project, and you're doing this all together. They're there to make us look good. That's right. Amazing. I'm all about making the lighting person very happy because it's all about lighting for me. Well, this is some great lighting you've got going on. I'm sorry if mine's a little shadowy and weird. You need a ring light. I've got several of them. I can send one to you because I'm, I, this is the difference between looking 50 or maybe 25. <laughs> you never know. Hey, congratulations on everything. Really, what a pleasure Thank to you. get to talk to you. Hopefully I meet in person one day. Yeah, yeah, likewise, all the best. Yeah, I hope to meet him in person one day. And who knows, maybe you'll see him on that American road trip uh, when all of this is a thing of the past. In the meantime, Made in Italy, you can catch it on demand starting August 7th.